Hello everyone, so I'll be reviewing the Cry Action Buzz Lightyear released in 2009 by Tankway Toys. We're going to start with him, take a closer look at the packaging. He comes in standard 2009 Toy Story branded packaging that Tankway and Mattel and Disney Store kind of use for their figures that's just kind of the cloud background. Core Disney Pixar Toy Story. Buzzable action movie size. This Chami press button on the back down here. Tank Toys logo, warnings. Cry Action Buzz Lightyear. Side, he's just kind of saying, got Toy Story on one side, it got the Toy Story logo on both sides. The back of the box, this is what it looks like. 12 movie size, Cry Action, Cry Action with moving head. Cry Action button, caution, do not use the toys chopping action on any person, animal, or object. As injury may result, see fix our Toy Story. So try me, so push this button, try mount, multiple opposable joints, press button for cry action. Description right here, you can read it. Cry action, Buzz Lightyear. This high detailed Space Ranger action figure looks just like, like in the movie with retractable helmet, opposable hands, arms, waist, and legs. Press the bonnet's back to activate Buzz's cry action, moving head. Buzz Lightyear, to the rescue. We can buzz down here and there you the logo. This is the barcode. The bottom of the box doesn't have anything on it. I actually push the button in the back and try it out. So, say let's get this guy opened up and take a closer look at him. Him. So now we'll take a closer look at the figure himself. He looks really nice. I don't see like any other standard Thankly Toys Buzz Lightyear action figure. You know, everything up is pretty much the same. The difference is he doesn't have a laser, unfortunately. It's just painted. You push the button, you can't push the laser button. You can push the voice sampler buttons or the ring release button. He doesn't talk. He doesn't have functional wings. The wings are fake also. They're just molded in the sides like the interactive buddies, Buzz Lightyear, 2009 and 10 variations without the wings. E-Command Buzz and Ultimate Buzz Lightyear programmable robot did. Where they're just molded in the sides. In the back, he doesn't have the Danger Jack style warning stickers. He doesn't have the sticker on his jetpack. Of course, doesn't have Andy's name or anyone else's name under his boot. Everest communicator. Does have a retractable helmet. Yeah, you can't remove his head. This is not really that turnable. Now, his articulation, the arms can move, the elbows can bend, the wrists can rotate. Fingers can move. Save the laser arm. The laser arm is kind of hard to move. Because of the cry action feature he has in there. Waist can't really turn much. Waist is like really stiff. I don't think, I don't think you, can, you can really move it. I mean the legs. I don't think the, the knees and feet don't bend. I don't think the feet bend at all. They might have a joint, ratchet joint there or something, but it might break if you try to move it. Now, the main feature of this butt is his karate chop action feature. So, I'll show you how that works. So, let's take his laser arm, just move it up like this. Just push the button on his jetpack. And like in the movie, just push it and he karate chops. Just like in the movie. And also, his head will move as well to the right side. And if 
do the arm to stay down. The arm to stay down is side. You have to kind of like move the the laser arm back a bit. So if you want it to kind of stay down his side. I think that's really all there is to say about this pose. The karate shop action feature is nice, which is it's way better than Disney stores, honestly. Because the thing about Disney stores is that it's not as good because was, they, they make this part a button, the crotch of action button. Maybe it's this whole section that's a button. I mean, this one's missing the sticker, of course, which you can easily apply yourself. These stores also do not have a lot of articulation with the laser arm. It would always just, you know, spring up like, like this if, you know, if you ever moved it. And to keep it down, you had to lock it in place. This you had to do it down on the side, so it locks in place. So I, I think this one just has better articulation than the laser arm. Look, so you just pull it back a bit and you can lock it down on the side. This one just works so much better. And also, this button is much more accurate than Disney Stores is. That's all you really can say about this buzz. You got it released two other times with two other package variations for Toy Story 3 and a few years later. Then there was two other versions of this buzz we got, which were stripped down versions called Cry Chop Action Buzz instead of Cry Action Buzz. Those ones were the worst Buzz Lightyears they ever made. Like, they lacked a lot of the color and stuff, but they didn't have the helmet, they didn't have a lot of articulation. And the Cry Chop Action feature, you just you pull his arm up and you release it and his arm drops. It's like the Cry Chop Action. That was pretty lame compared to this one. This one's better because you push the button in the back to activate the crush of action feature. If you want to find this buzz today, you can find him on eBay. Of course, he has three different package variations from 2009, 10, and 2015, 16, 17, or 18. Okay, I did find Fee's Karai action buzz. If the laser's painted, he has the wings on the sides, like they're just molded in. And if he doesn't have the sticker on his jetpack. I highly advise you don't buy the Cry Chop Action Buzz. The one with the normal head sculpt and the one with the Toy Story 4 head sculpt because those ones are not worth it. And well, the Toy Story 4 one's only worth it because the head sculpt, which a lot of people just use for custom Buzz Lightyear head swap mods. So, yeah, I'm going to take this Buzz Lightyear apart because I'm going to be using his parts to repair my you talk about Buzz Lightyear talking action figure from 2009. That was a Toys R Us exclusive. And I'm using it, this guy's parts for that one to repair that buzz. So stay tuned for a video of that when I get him fully restored. So I really hope you enjoyed this video review. If you this video, please leave a like and feel free to leave a comment below down in the comment section. If you have any questions or any requests or anything, just let me know. And please be sure to join me on my Discord group. I've officially set up a Discord group. So there's a link in the description if you want to join my Discord group. And if you want to see more views and content, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.